looking for something to do this weekend and maybe you want a little more color in your weekend. Maybe you're hungry for some good food or listen to some good music. We have the Latin American Festival happening and I've got Ashley Bendis with me this morning to explain it all. The one thing I was attracted to immediately was the amount of color on the table here. Absolutely. And you too, to yes. say the least. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about this festival for folks that maybe have never been there before. Sure. So the Latin American Festival at Bazaar del Mundo is our biggest event of the year. We do this every year where we bring up artists from across Mexico and also South America. They join us to demonstrate and showcase their art. You know, many of these art forms that you see are centuries old that have been passed down through the generations. And so these artists come up and are really excited to, to share their work um, with San Diego and demonstrate how it's done. And you have some wonderful examples. This one drew my attention immediately. Explain yes. why some may actually recognize this. Sure, so for those of you who have seen Disney's Coco, uh, this uh, big cat may look familiar. So the artist is Jacobo Angeles. He and his wife Maria have a workshop down in Oaxaca um, where they hand carve these fantastical creatures from wood. They actually take stumps of wood and a machete and just hack away. And he says that he lets the wood speak to him. Wow. Um, but so in terms of Coco, he was a consultant for the movie for the animals from the land of the dead. Um, so this very fantastical, colorful um, look that you see here all comes from him. Wow. Okay. And talk about some of the the blankets and stuff that you have here, the tapestries, because I know you said some people will be there actually making them right on the spot. Yeah, so we have uh, Pedro Montano who actually brings a handmade loom, handmade loom with him. He sets it up in our courtyard and will demonstrate how he makes these fantastic uh, table runners and rugs. We also have some pillows that he does, very contemporary designs. Um, and they're just beautiful and it's very cool to watch. Okay, so Ashley, my favorite part of any party festival, whatever you want to call it, is the food. Yes. I'm guessing you're going to have some fantastic things to eat there. Absolutely. So Bazar del Mundo is located right next to Casa Guadalajara Mexican restaurant. It's our sister restaurant. And so they will be providing street tacos, of course, because we're yeah. San Diego. Uh, you can also get esquites, uh, corn cup, Mexican corn cups. We'll have agua frescas and all sorts of other delicious eats. And then, of course, we'll have live music. Uh, we'll have ballet folklorico dancers to really kind of round out the experience. All right, so for those that want to participate, maybe come down and join with the family. Give us the logistics, where, what time, and if we need to buy any tickets to get in. Absolutely, it's free to get in. So we're at Bazaar del Mundo at the corner of Juan and Taylor Streets in Old Town. We're open uh, Friday through Sunday, so Friday and Saturday from 10 to 8 and Sunday from 10 to 5. Come down, we'd love to have everybody there. Kid friendly? Absolutely, you know, it's a great opportunity for the little ones to, to hear about these amazing works of art. Yeah, they can really learn something. Are there any hands-on activities for the kids? You know, not necessarily, but I think it's more about you get to speak to the artists and, you know, watching them hand paint things and see the demonstrations that they do. And again, just watching someone, you know, take a machete and, and, and make these fantastic pieces is great. We'll even have um, jewelry artists on site who are hand making their jewelry. They've you know been doing this from all sorts of, you know, for years and years and years, and it's just a beautiful experience. And lastly, before we go, what's your favorite part of the festival? My favorite part of the festival, I think, is the color, to yeah. your point, and celebrating um, these vibrant cultures that we are so familiar with here in San mm -hmm. Diego and getting the opportunity to meet these artists in person. Yeah, Ashley, thank you for bringing this to us and letting us know what's happening this weekend. A great way to go spend some time with the family. Good food, music, lots of wonderful art to look at. So thank you.